Welcome to Ellie Scrubs In. In this video, we'll walk through the open cholecystectomy, a surgical procedure to remove the gallbladder through a right subcostal incision. While most cholecystectomies are now done laparoscopically, there are still important clinical scenarios where the open approach is preferred or required. When to choose an open approach. Open cholecystectomy may be indicated in cases of severe inflammation or distorted anatomy from repeated cholecystitis, suspected gallbladder cancer, and conversion from laparoscopic due to uncontrolled bleeding or unclear biliary structures. Understanding this procedure remains critical for all surgical trainees. Let's walk through the operations step by step. Step 1. Positioning and Incision The patient is placed supine under general anesthesia. The abdomen is prepped and draped in sterile fashion. A right subcostal coker incision is made about 2 to 4 centimeters below the costal margin using a number 10 blade. The incision is carried through the skin, subcutaneous tissue, and external oblique aponeurosis with Mayo scissors and electrocautery. Muscle fibers are split in the direction of their orientation, and the posterior rectus sheath and peritoneum are incised carefully with scissors or scalpel. Pearl. Use small retractors early to avoid enlarging the incision unnecessarily. A self-retaining retractor such as a Bookwalter or Balfour may be placed. Step 2. Exposure and Retraction. The right lobe of the liver is gently retracted superiorly using a Diva retractor or malleable ribbon retractor. The gallbladder is visualized and evaluated for inflammation, distension, or adhesions. Adhesiolysis is performed if needed using Metzenbaum scissors, blunt dissection, or electrocautery. Pearl. Avoid entering the gallbladder during dissection. This increases contamination risk and complicates anatomy. Step 3. Dissection of Calot's Triangle. Retraction is maintained to expose Calot's triangle, the space bordered by the cystic duct, common hepatic duct, and inferior surface of the liver. The cystic artery and cystic duct are carefully dissected and isolated using tonsil clamps, right angle dissectors, and debakey forceps. Once adequately skeletonized, the cystic artery is doubly ligated with two silk ties or metal clips and divided. The cystic duct is also doubly ligated and divided between ties or clips. Pitfall. Inadequate dissection of Calot's triangle is a major cause of bile duct injury, even in an open approach. Always obtain the critical view of safety, dissecting away all tissue except the cystic duct and cystic artery, ensuring that only these two structures enter the gallbladder. Step 4. Gallbladder Removal With the duct and artery divided, the gallbladder is detached from the liver bed, using a combination of blunt dissection, electrocautery, and gauze swabs for counter-traction. The peritoneal reflections around the gallbladder are divided, and the connective tissue attachments between the gallbladder and segment 5 of the liver are separated. Small bleeding points are controlled with electrocautery or absorbable hemostatic agents. Once removed, the gallbladder is sent to pathology. If the gallbladder was infected or perforated, copious irrigation is performed using warm saline and suction. Pearl. Inspect the liver bed for hemostasis and ensure no clips or ties are loose. Step 5. Drain placement, optional. A closed suction drain, such as a Jackson Pratt, may be placed in the gallbladder fossa if there was bile spillage, hemostasis was difficult, or if the case was converted from laparoscopic under concern for duct injury. Step 6. Closure. The peritoneum and fascia are closed with interrupted or running O-absorbable suture using a Mayo needle holder. Muscle layers are approximated as needed. The skin is closed with staples or 40 nylon sutures, and a sterile dressing is applied. Postoperative care. The patient is monitored for signs of bile leak, fever, abdominal pain, elevated bilirubin, surgical site infection, and return of bowel function. Oral intake can typically resume within 12 to 24 hours. Final notes. Open cholecystectomy is less common today, but mastering its steps is essential for any surgeon especially when dealing with complex or emergent cases. Thanks for scrubbing in with us today. If you found this walkthrough helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and join us for more narrated surgical guides here on Ellie Scrubs In.